China is the world's top energy consumer and coal user, projected to use more coal in the coming years than the rest of the world combined. It holds the dubious honour as the biggest greenhouse gas emitter, home to the planet's most polluted cities. But it also owns the world's largest renewable energy system, all part of its push to diversify its energy supply and keep its environment clean. We call it three E's, economic growth, energy security and environment. Three E's must be balanced, but each country has slightly different priority, right? In emerging economies like India or ASEAN, the growth is more important. But China has developed to the stage that they have to think about the air pollution by coal. But while green is in, China has invested too much in coal power to abandon it just yet. How long China will be able to get away from coal, I think that's going to be a long, long time. The reason for that is very simple. The coal-fired power generation, which consumes about half of the coal in China, and those coal are locked in. The reason I'm saying that is that they're all brand new coal-fired power plants, and that's going to last for 40 years. What China needs to do is more energy efficiency. To make this happen, get rid of the so-called fossil fuel consumption subsidy. Don't help the uh, public spending or wasting the energy sources by setting the price lower than the global price. This is very tricky. The politically speaking, sometimes it's not popular. So it's very difficult to do, but that is the best way to make energy efficiency happen. The problem lies not just with China, it's Asian-wide. According to Ernst & Young, Asia-Pacific produces approximately 10% of global energy, yet consumes around a third of the supply every year. The Asia Development Bank projects energy demand in the region to almost double by 2030, with hydrocarbons supplying the core wattage. The new demand is 88% coming from Asia. It's as simple as that. But Asia hopes diversifying its energy mix will go some ways to making supply more secure. Gas will be a key component. The International Energy Agency expects China's gas demand to double over the next five years. If you look at the hydrocarbon balance, gas is really the fuel of the future and will displace coal. So it's a matter of time and costs. Now gas, unlike oil, doesn't have OPEC there really driving up the price. If you're a major consumer of gas, which China and India will be, actually your future is very good. As the world's biggest energy market, Asia holds the eastern promise for energy producers worldwide. But analysts say its long-term future will depend on Asian government's ability to produce a collective, coherent and environmentally conscious energy plan. Sri Jagaraja, CNBC.